got something. I had a whole lineup of games that I was gonna play. I was gonna start with Ms. Pac-Man, which I was just trying. So this game is a Tetris, Tetris-like puzzle game where you, you have Pac-Man, you eat ghosts. It's actually got a really interesting uh, it's got a very interesting campaign puzzle stuff. So it's... It's a fun one. It's a silly little game. It's absolutely got its moments. I'll show off uh, a, a little bit of this, but we'll just go right into it. The more ghosts that you eat, you see that meter that start to fill up. Points. And you can clear lines. Just like that. It's the same thing. You clear lines just like in... Uh... Just like Tetris. I don't know off the top of my head how to get more points out of yeah, and, and eventually he just stops eating. You can't change his direction either, he just spawns and facing a certain direction, that's it. The puzzle mode is interesting enough too. Uh, it's got its silly, but it's got its silly little moments. I won't play this very long. I know this can, games like this can get boring if you're not careful. So I'll just show off a little bit of the actual puzzle mode super quickly. We'll uh, see what other games that I have that'll actually work today. And I haven't shown off the fairy, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling like that. Maybe I am, I don't know. I'll just... Just go ahead and start. You will receive a limited number of packs to gobble all the ghosts on the screen. For Pac-Man lines, you can change his direction with the B button. You actually can change his direction then. And, uh, there you go. That's uh, that's that's it. Good pack attack. Fun little oddity, but oh shit, okay. I love the uh, reactions of the ghosts too, they get really silly.
There's, I don't remember the best way to do it. The, uh, but there you go. You can absolutely fail these two. They get really hard later. This one, it's got to be the console that's acting up, though. I feel bad about it, but we'll see if I can get something to work. Otherwise, I have games on my computer that will that will function, and they'll, they'll, they're pretty fun. I've got some good retro ones. I'd rather not pull out any of the emulated games, if possible. Yeah, this was... Games like this were back when Namco was absolutely just trying to mess around and have some fun. They were trying to throw everything at the wall because Pac-Man was just so wildly popular that they were trying to brand him properly, they were trying to make everything in their power to make him as fun and identifiable as possible in as many ways as possible. Similar to how Mario just kind of took off and became kart racer, golfer, party, everything you can imagine. In the meantime, yeah, let me... That's that's the whole game. And there's like 50 stages. This is, uh, this is one of those games that's meant to be like remotely somewhere close to infinitely replaceable. Or is it in words infinitely replayable but it's not exactly like as like people don't talk about playing this game compared to playing like tetris or puyo puyo that's a fun little one 